Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Don't be alarmed, but you need to be aware that a major monster sunspot has quadrupled in three days. Um, according to meteorologists, um, what they were calling, some people, look, I want you to understand something. This sunspot, which is called AR2443, has more than quadrupled in size since October 29th. In three days, it is now stretched to 175,000 kilometers from end to end. Uh, this thing is huge, and it's predicted that a geomagnetic storm is likely to hit today, according to NOAA forecasters, they estimate there's a 90% chance of a geomagnetic storm to hit today or tomorrow uh, when a fast-moving stream of solar wind is expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field. Solar wind speeds could exceed 800 kilometers uh, and spark a strong G3-class geomagnetic storm. Now, sky watchers in the United States should be alert and may have some spectacular northern lights. Now, here's what I'm saying. That, that is nothing to do with what this monster sunspot may create on the sun, and that is magnif or just um, absolutely magnificently, miraculously, massive solar flares could erupt from a sunspot this big, they expect it to be huge, releasing, of course, CMEs, and uh, that could create very, very serious complications on Earth. It just depends if it's a glancing blow, is it a direct hit, if it is a direct hit, does it hit, uh, you know, power grids, uh, or does it hit the ocean somewhere? I mean, yeah, all of this factors. But when you have sunspots this big, there is major danger that if if it releases a major uh, uh, solar flare and it's pointed directly at the Earth, when it happens, it could bring about a catastrophic, cataclysmic situation. So you know, again, just again. I'm just saying, I want to make you aware of it. I'm not saying it's going to be the end of the world, but of course, the sun is getting more volatile all the time, and the earth is getting warmer. Or or let's just say this. I don't know if it's warmer or what. I, I, definitely the weather's more extreme. That's what I like to use the word, because it's really extreme. From ice, ice floods in Saudi Arabia right now. So that, you know, I mean, everything's out of control. Everything's bigger. Everything, more eruptions of volcanoes, more uh, earthquakes. I don't know. Where's Al Gore? I don't think he can do anything to control the situation. I think that we're, the earth is actually groaning and uh, the birthing pains of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Look at the scripture, St. Luke 21. Verse 25, uh, the Bible says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. We just had a blood moon unscheduled for no reason on Friday night, early morning hours of Halloween over the Sea of Galilee. An incredible sight. How did it happen? Why did it happen? What's the significance? There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Just had an asteroid just brushed by the earth and the moon on uh, Halloween, and upon the earth the distress of nations, you definitely can see that, with perplexity or confusion, and the sea and the waves roaring. Look at this massive cyclone, the biggest ever in the Arabian Sea, getting ready to hit Yemen with floods of biblical proportions. I'm already getting reports that there are people dead, and it just hasn't even come ashore. There's already loss of life flooding in Saudi Arabia with ice, strange extreme weather conditions and they're only going to get worse according to the bible in these last days give your life to jesus christ we're running out of time don't miss today's live broadcast 12 noon eastern at my website www.paulbegleyprophecy.com